What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Uh, subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. He gives 80%. He gets 20%. So, um, in these modern day relationships, you know, people, ladies are, 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 guys are looking at ladies complaining about what they do in relationships. And they're kind of like, because guys are raised to give. Women are raised to receive. So guys are accustomed to giving 80% in a relationship. And guys are accustomed to getting 20% back. See, that's the different 80-20 rule that we don't talk about. The 80-20 the, the rule of, you know, if you can get 80% of what you want, you're doing good. Well, <clears throat> we're getting 20%. So we're, 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 we're getting short at 60% as a norm. So... And when you're asking why these guys aren't in relationships and why, you know, less men are getting married or less men want to get married, it, it boils down to guys are accustomed to getting 20%. And, and modern day la ladies, y'all so lazy. If y'all give, if y'all give more than 20%, y'all think it's slavery. You know, y'all think something's wrong with it. It's, it's, it's a bad look. You know, a, a real man would let you do little to nothing. Uh, shout out to Pink Book Lesson. She was, she just, I just woke up this morning and she has a commentary on a, on this white lady whose husband and father-in-law asked her to clean up the, the house because they were, they were building the house, them too, you know, and we just put the tools up and she went, um, she went online to complain about it and went viral. And then the next day they cleaned it up themselves and she felt like, you know, either they either they understood what I was saying or they think I'm completely incompetent and they just did it themselves. Either way, it's a win for me. And the third video was how the husband's divorcing the wife and she's moving into an apartment now. Because, you, you know, this idea that you can give a man 20 percent and that's what he he's going to do all this work to get 20 percent back is an issue. And some of y'all don't don't take into consideration, you know, a lot of times ladies get mad about cheating and infidelity right and but you don't you, you don't get mad about shorting this guy so some of these guys are cheating and with other women because you don't fulfill you don't fulfill them because you're not really invested in him like that you're invested in what he's doing for you but you're not invested in him so he's realizing you know what i'm gonna get my you know if, if i need 80 percent if I need to get 80%, I'm going to get, I'm, if I'm only getting 20 from you, I'm going to get the other 60 from somewhere else. I ain't got to get 100, but I'm going to get the other 60 from somewhere else. Since you only give me 20, I'm going to get 20 over here, 20 over here, and 20 over there. That's my 80. And then y'all get upset about that because how dare he? How dare he what? Take the table scraps you giving him and just suppose and, and, and live with that while you're getting this, that, and the third. And, and you ladies, I've worked so hard. I've tried so hard. A lot of you, you know, whether you're in relationships or you've been in relationships, you know, y'all y'all tell that story to your girlfriends about how much you did for a guy. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of times the guys that y'all say that y'all do stuff for are guys who are unproductive in life in general. You don't, I'm talking about productive men. You don't do anything or, or little to nothing for productive men. That's why when you got a guy who's productive and he has a, and he meets a woman and she actually gives, if he gives her 80 and, and, and as a black man, if, if he gets 40 to 60, he's probably going to marry that woman because that's double, triple what he's used to getting. So to him, that's a good deal. You know, it's like, well, usually I just get a chick who can't cook or say she don't want to cook or a chick who don't clean up or say she don't want to clean up and she need help with this and she need help with that. But she don't need no help to get up and go out and take these free dates and get these free gifts. She don't need no help for that, but everything else she need help for, you know, and then she lazy in the bedroom. But if I give her, you know, get somebody to fill in that position, I'm wrong because, but you need help everywhere. You need help in the house, in the kitchen, and you need help in the bedroom too. You know, and you need help. You know, you need your mama and them to talk to you and for you and your friends because you can't even speak for yourself. 
So I'm just helping you, baby. <laughs> so what winds up happening is at the end of the day, uh, like I said, these guys are married, these women who, who they get 40 or 60% from. But you other ladies, y'all single. Y'all attractive, but y'all single. And a lot of y'all don't even want to be honest about this. A lot of y'all wanted to be mothers. And a lot of you wind up being single mothers. And at some point you get tired of be, the, 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 um, the gloss, the shine fades off being a single mother. It's not fun anymore. And you wind up giving your kids 20%. So then all of a sudden not, you got kids who became adults or who are becoming adults right now, knowing that their mom's really not doing her best job as a parent in this situation. And now your kids get 20. And now these kids grow, grow up to realize that out the gate, they don't want 20. You know, I, I'm not taking 20. I'm, I'm ta I took 20 from my mama. I'm not taking 20 from you. Uh-uh. Because, and, and I, and I got to put this in there. Because even the financial part of quote-unquote child support, the family courts, you, you're going to notice these kids ain't getting 20% from their, from they, from they even, even with that, financially. So now they feel like money's meant for them. It's 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 not um, going towards the house. It, it's going towards the mom. It's not going towards them. They they get no benefit from it. So when you got an eighty twenty society, and the guys are getting you know giving eighty and getting tw giving twenty, you're not gonna keep minusing yourself. You're not gonna keep doing that. You're gonna start pocketing. You know what? I'm gonna get something back. Since you're not giving to me, I'm gonna give to me and. I think now you're starting to see, in, even when, when women decide that men aren't good enough and women date women, the, the woman who's in the quote-unquote male or masculine position, she starts getting 20%. And she starts realizing how bad of a deal it is. And then it's like, oh, this ain't, this ain't what I'm signing up for. So for ladies who think, you know, y'all are natural nurturers and y'all are lovers and givers, y'all y'all love nurturing meter is broken because y'all not y'all really you know y'all in y'all in a bare minimum of giving and nurturing and people are just sick of it but people have got accustomed to it so they feel like you're incompetent at nurturing and love so they piece it together wherever they can find it so but that's what we're accustomed to getting giving we're accustomed to giving 80 and getting 20 back Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.